Welcome to the Egg Drop. Today's guest is Dave of a Boy in a Band. The Egg Drop is a science experiment for young children and YouTubers, where each competitor is responsible for building a contraption capable of protecting a raw chicken egg from a dangerous fall. I forgot to film the intro, so I'm filming it now. <laughs> Let's go to the dollar store. So I have a question. Okay, what's your question? Where are the eggs? <laughs> Why? What's the most eggs I can afford? Uh, the big one, 18. Now I gotta go pick what I'm getting. He's already done. Lunchables, three for 99 cents. That means I can get nine. I'll get one with a ham one too. You've spent $2.49. You have 50 cents left. 50 cents. I'm kind of hungry. All right, I have Lunchables. <laughs> True. Thanks. I don't have my wallet. Sorry for making you pay. This is a first. That's okay. $5.59. Do you want to show me what you got from the dollar store? Yeah. I bought 18 eggs. As I understand it, the rule of egg drop is to have a surviving egg. At the moment, with one egg, you have a chance of maybe 1%. So that's 1% times ni like 19 now. So you have the 18. The 18 here plus the egg that okay. you will provide. If I if I protect my egg and you protect one of the white eggs, yeah. I win. Like if your brown egg is okay. broken, I'll, I'll allow but that. you have it. If I bust I'll my egg that. and you will okay. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. If my egg busts and you get a white egg to survive, then, then you the win. Technicality yeah. I win. Yeah, so you have you do have the upper hand here. So you're saying brown is better than white? No, it just we just brown is better than white William Osman. Uh, I, uh, they are they are stronger eggs. Right. Yes, the eggs that are brown are better eggs. They are organic. They have a thicker shell. They're easier to protect. Okay. Yeah. It's eggs. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> well, no. Um, we gonna get a timer on the on the clock. A clock on the. Can we get a clock on the timer? Can, can we get a timer? Clock Can we get a clock on the clock? Can we get the clock going on the clock? Clock. Clock. Oh, and uh, you also get. Uh, we get to share this hot glue. Right. And we get to share that tape. Okay. Do I have scissors? Uh, Do you want scissors? Uh, we have scissors. Uh, Ten minutes on the clock, starting now. Okay, so let me go get the eggs really quick. I've got to figure out if you can hot glue eggs together. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't say what I got. I got nine Lunchables. Yeah, I told you you're gonna have problems. You're gonna have to use the tape. This might be worse than just literally throwing 19 eggs off the roof. Ah, how much time is left? I need to talk to the garage door repair people. The garage door broke for the second time in less than a year of living here. And we had two water leaks, two major water leaks in less than a year of living here. And you can't hot glue eggs together. You can't hot glue eggs together. This whole room used to be full of bird turds. This house sucks. I don't even want to live here anymore. This is definitely the last egg drop we filmed in this house, <laughs> even if it wasn't the last one posted. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you have a degree? Mm hmm Yeah. Is this what you book up the degree for? It's Thank not you. bad. Okay, here's uh, here's the, your brown egg. Okay. Oh, this the brown egg should be at the top. I feel like I need to have some good questions for you. I'm, no, that's uh, fine. No, 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 I have good questions. Why is a quarter of your hair red? Because it would cost a lot more and take way more time to do the whole of it. That's not, there's no way that's actual. That was a big part of why really? I only went for a streak. If I bleached it and it went wrong, mm -hmm. I didn't want to lose all of my hair. Okay. Uh, also, I'm glad that you called it red instead of orange or pink, which a lot of people go for mm -hmm. when it's 100% okay. definitely red. I feel like on camera maybe it might be, yeah. I mean, I've always- Yeah, you've got to color correct it, but it's red. All right, so we got our first uh, little protector thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you know what you're doing? I, I am confident. Okay, camera, Jana, you are not eating those nearly fast enough. I'm currently trying to build the bottom of an egg pyramid. You're definitely on to something. Yours is going to be a strategy about how you drop it. All right. Right. Why did you choose not to color your head and uh, hair any other colors? I've, than I've thought about it. Did I tell you what I was thinking about doing? What? You're just completely shaving the top of my head. <laughs> Monk haircut. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a good reason. Okay, this isn't working at all. I got a question. What is the structure of like the UK. Geographically? Yeah, well, because you have like London, the, the UK, like, rock. Great Britain. Um, yeah, what kind of sand? <laughs> it, the UK is four countries. So uh, it's sort of like the United States. A, like a, they're almost state-like-ish kind of. No, they're countries. The UK is, four, is a country built of four countries. England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. I mean, that's kind of similar to states. No, we've got counties, which would be closer to states. Yeah. But then we've got countries, which... Mm, sure. Have you ever like, been to the UK? Mm. Have you left the US? Yes. When did, oh, you went to Japan. Yeah, I've been to Japan and, and other parts of Europe. What did you like better? Is, um, is Japan or Europe? Japan yeah. is definitely just like its own experience. 
Where have you been? I've been quite a few places. I've been to Japan, South Korea. <laughs> they have to specify South Korea. <laughs> uh, the northern half. A few places in the US, Canada. Australia. This is interesting. I think that will damage it though. What's something on your bucket list? Japan was definitely on it and I definitely would recommend everyone else puts it on their bucket list. Yeah. I liked in Japan how every train station had its own little theme tune. I thought it was yeah. very cute. So you've, you've done music before, haven't you? Yeah, not good. Is this, did we turn this interview around? Yeah. You, you used to do music. Yeah, check out my SoundCloud. <laughs> do you actually have a SoundCloud? I actually have a SoundCloud. Yeah. What is it? Uh, no. Tell me. I want to know your SoundCloud. I'll show it to you. I can't. I mean, it's, it's all really bad. That's why I want people to know about it. Could you get something up on your phone after this? <sighs> I am so curious. Are we gonna have like a rap track? Oh, you rapped? No, I didn't rap. Oh. This is egg dropping music. How long have you been producing when you made this? Because that will factor into uh, how many points Single out of months. Okay, that's not too bad. There's some like uh, dubstep attempt. Really no, it. it's I don't know what it's can't tell if it's really if it's really time. hot up here or if I'm just horribly embarrassed. What was your artist name? Nope. Please, please. Nope. Oh hell yeah. Is this making you work extra fast? I'm gonna drop some eggs. Oh how do I make it stop? <laughs> oh thank god. I think for starting out, that's solid. Not horrible. No, definitely heard worse. My plan for the egg drop is to build an egg pyramid. At the moment I'm thinking a double-sided egg pyramid. One of these eggs will survive. Ideally this top one seems to be sweating from the heat. Either the heat or the, the fear of being dropped. It's the fear of its sound cloud and being exposed <laughs> to the world. My plan is to take the egg and kind of suspend it between two pieces of plastic and then have like this sort of cushion here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is that a plan? So, uh, boy in a band. Where that's does it. boy in a band come from? Hey, that's pretty good. I think there's some protective capability to this. Yes, you definitely have something going on. More importantly though, boy in a band. When I started my channel, I was a boy who was in a band. Now, I am no longer in a band. I am a man, no longer a boy. Okay. So it's kind of a relic. All right, are you ready to go to the roof? If it's safe. I am actually excited to see both of these fall. Is it safe? Yes, because we are trained, repeat after me, because we are, because we are trained, trained professionals. professionals. We have training. And we are on the roof, a good 90% of our lives. And we <laughs> Welcome to the roof, the last time we will ever be up here. The uh, landlords are probably very grateful for that. Oh, how do you do with heights, by the way? Uh, I'm all right. Do you want to tell me about your egg drop contraption and what you call it? Uh, I call this the, uh, Tesla leg? 3 out of 10. All, the, no, all right. The egg pyramid. Um, 2 out of 10. The principle is, with one egg, you have a small chance. With many egg, you have big chance. <laughs> it's got to fall straight down. Yeah, I'm just going to drop it like this. The eggs will crumple and the eggs will survive. Have you ever seen any of these where we try to drop them straight down? Yeah, they always don't. <laughs> Go straight I just down. didn't have time for the parachute. Okay, okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I call this Mega Lunchable with surprise egg snack in the middle. It is five Lunchables with a plastic suspension inside the middle holding the egg. And then eight crackers are just glued on. It's like a Kinder Egg, but it's it's disgusting. The egg is the on the inside, not the inside <laughs> and of the egg. And it's a real egg. And it's a real egg. <laughs> Mom, I want the Lunchable with the egg in it. The hard boiled, no, the raw one. Are you ready? Yeah, I think yours is gonna win this. I think yours is gonna be the most fun to watch. Okay, that's, that's fair. <laughs> Egg pyramid, version 1.0. You never even made a 0.0. 0. I, it goes straight to production. Okay. Three, two, one, yeet. Oh, you definitely, I think, had at least one. Oh my god, it's oozing! <laughs> oh my god, Dave! Ew! Surely one of those has survived. This is Mega Lunchable Cubed. I think that's the same name I had earlier. I, sure. I might have just made a new one. Three, two, one, drop. Oh. You, why does it always last minute? It smashes, it like twists and smashes I think into the ground. Help. You think so? Wow. That's quite the mess. Okay, do you want to dig to your... All right. First of all, it landed on the egg I was trying to protect from the looks of things. I think. That's literally every one of these eggs broken. I don't know. It kind of, there's some that are not in like horrible condition. Okay, we should get yours first. Okay. The first step to opening the Mega Lunchables, you, you got to peel all the side wrappers off. Okay. It sort of folds out. In, oh, damn it. It's broken. Is it broken? Yeah. <laughs> 
Dad, no! I have it <laughs> It's kind of a cool feeling. If any of these eggs survive, you win. And I win. Okay, none of, ooh, wait, wait. <gasps> One survived. It's completely fine. Have I got any others? Oh, oh, two. Two eggs. I don't, it feels like I'm looking through like some like, Earthquake. Weird, yeah, like earthquake victims <laughs> or something. Egg. Oh, yes. Oh. You want to squeeze one? It's kind of okay. nice. Oh. <laughs> that went really well. Anyone you want to thank? Whichever poor little factory chicken laid these eggs. Anyone else you want to thank? You, the viewer, for tuning in to another episode of Egg Drop. We'll see you next time, American Music Plays. Touch your head with a hand. I really do don't. It, do it, do it. Uh. <laughs> So gross. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you ever noticed the more you learn, the dumber you feel? Which is why this video is sponsored by Brilliant.org. I love learning new things. The only problem is the more I learn, the dumber I realize I am. And Brilliant.org does a great job of making me realize how dumb I am. <laughs> I just took a course on AI, basic AI, and I saw one of the coolest demonstrations to represent how a neural network works. You could literally draw numbers and it showed you how the entire network was lighting up to create some sort of estimation as to what number you drew in the box. And you can see right here it got it wrong and guessed that the four was a five, but if you draw the four differently, it'll guess it right. It's probably the first time in a long time I've been able to actually sit down and learn something new without getting bored. I don't know, maybe I have ADHD. Even better, if you've got like a flight or somewhere where you won't have internet, you can download the lessons to read, like instead of watching movies on a plane. If you wanna join me in learning an interesting topic in a fun and interactive way, you can check out the link in the description, brilliant.org slash William Osmond, and start learning anything. There's so many topics. You can learn whatever you want. You could become a math wizard. I don't know about that. But.